be recorded. So when, you know, in terms of materials to get people going, um, for further education, I teach a ABM modeling course um, on occasion. Uh, the latest one is sponsored by Fields Institute, but also offered as a full semester course here. Um, and I'll be teaching that again, probably with a lab session worked out in the next year or two. Um, I also teach a more basic course in simulation modeling that covers all three methods, system dynamics, agent-based, and discrete event simulation, and to some degree, hybrids between them. That's provided as a graduate course, um, as well as an undergrad course. 394 is the undergrad, 858 is the graduate course. Um, however, I, I, I will note that um, Scott Page, who was the, the name I was forgetting, the head of the Center for Complex Systems at Michigan, uh, teaches a very good course in model thinking. Um, some of my students have taken it. Uh, some of some of those elsewhere in the boot camp speak highly of it. And I've seen parts of it, and uh, he really does a fine job. It's more a, a high level class on modeling, but a very thoughtful one. And Scott is a opinion leader or a a thought leader who who I really admire. He and I know each other quite well, and and um, uh, he's been very kind in in using some of our our. Um, modeling uh, findings to communicate some results. And, and uh, I'm a big fan of his work. Volker Grimm teaches a week-long course at Humboldt State University in NetLogo, um, uh, which is a, a basic learning platform for agent-based modeling that has its own trade-offs. Um, I am thinking about delivering a, an intermediate level boot camp um, at some point uh, as well. Um, I think I'll, I'll I'll go light, but I will say that this um, this graduate course and undergrad course uh, the graduate course can be offered hybrid and includes a lot of um, and it includes a, a project component um, uh, and opportunities uh, for oversight. Um, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I have an old playlist, but. Um, that's true. I have an, I have an old playlist. There's much better videos for some of those now, but, um, but there is definitely some value there. Um, uh, right. Um, okay. Um, yeah, so there's, I do, I do also teach a course, which, um, I've taught twice now. I want to get it registered as a regular course, which is on combining dynamic modeling on the one hand with, machine learning and computational statistics techniques. Um, and uh, we go into a lot of the techniques for parameter estimation and latent state inference and statistical filtering. Um, but that requires CMPT 394 858. There's other opportunities and, and things like summer projects or internships. Um, and we do have people do I think a non-student can take a CMPT course? I do think so, uh, Jiwon. I mean, we've had, um, um, yeah, so it requires a certain process to do that, um, that a student can go through. And I can let you know what that is. I know it is possible. Uh, it does require some paperwork to do it. Um, and I'm glad to speak with you about it, Jiwon, if there's uh, interest. Okay, that was our boot camp. That was last year. Yeah. Um, and uh, and the hackathon is next week. Okay, um, so those are most of the comments. I I will say that um, uh, I have a channel that some of you have had the misfortune of stumbling over, but it has what is somewhere probably around twenty five hundred videos or what have you in it. It's it's a bit of a um, what's the right word for it? Somewhere between rat's nest and kind of um, uh, cornucopia, <laughs> somewhere between, um, you know, uh, uh, labyrinth and, um, and, uh, and sort of uh, font of delight. <laughs> um, it has, it has just huge volumes of materials. Sometimes there's nuggets that are small and five minutes. Um, 
uh, that we broke, you know, sessions up into these things. And then there's, you know, multi-hour videos of me <laughs> building models with people and, and so on. And um, it really needs to be tamed. And in past years, I had some students who were interested in helping to curate it. And we did a lot of work. Larissa pointed to some of the resources. Um, I haven't really um, done that in recent years. Um, it's time for uh, cleaning the Aegean stables, I think, um, and deprecating some things on there and, and really highlighting things that are the most current or the most effective presentation, the most um, helpful sort of walkthroughs, et cetera. I don't, I don't have grand notions of how to do this. I'm, I'm, I'm quite naive about it. And um, it's grown to such a size. I don't, I don't quite know what to do about it. Um, but if anyone's interested, we should talk because um, I'd like to make better use of it. Um, yeah, I already answered that. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Um, yeah. So um, uh, other things. Well, I will say the, the current environment is favorable for publishing modern modeling papers. Both uh, there's many journals that are reasonably model friendly. I do maintain a list in the health sciences that that list um, venues we consider publishing. And, you know, some like American Journal of Preventive Medicine or Preventive Medicine, American Journal of Public Health and, and uh, are, are known to, to really welcome um, contributions. There's also many open access journals, Pure J and and. Uh, you know, PNAS, uh, the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences is known to offer, but but many others as well. PLOS One, certainly. Various PLOS journals, various PMC, Biomed Central journals, et cetera. Um, it used to be, when I first started teaching this stuff, um, uh, you know, it used to be that I would get asked, you know, what journals can we publish this in? And it would be a smaller number that I could speak about. These days, a lot taken. But there are still some journals, particularly clinical journals, for example, where you know there's some um, lack of experience in the reviewer base, et cetera. But there are dozens of journals that we consider submitting to, and we have a, a history of. There are also conferences in this. If, if you're really interested in agent-based modeling, it's a uh, blinking weight. Um, it's a different conf set of conferences that might be of particular interest. There's a conference in artificial and social societies, another one in computational social science. Um, SBP BRIMS, the Society for Behavioral Prediction and Modeling and um, an associate sort of management science uh, conference. Uh, I, I published quite a few models in there and it's, it's, a, it's a good conference for technical feedback and for bringing it together with big data and, and, and machine learning techniques. Uh, social media analysis, smartphone-based data, et cetera. Um, uh, so th there are a set of conferences. The International System Dynamics Conference dabbles in agent-based modeling um, and and uh, has some sessions associated with it. Um, uh, and, you know, but, but as overwhelming emphasis in system dynamics. The Winter Simulation Conference is another uh, conference, although it, it tends to be mostly... Um, discrete about simulation. Okay, um, so I think those are all of the comments that I will give uh, at this point. It's been a real honor, uh, a lot of fun, um, and, uh, you know, very, uh, uh, very exciting to see new generations of students engage with this material. Um, uh, blinking. Um, uh, despite AP challenges sometimes. Um, so um, I want to thank you for your patience. I want to thank you for your accommodation. This has been a very difficult week for me uh, personally because of uh, this harassment case that's been going on where I and many other faculty have received death threats and, and uh, attacks from an aggrieved former student um, who's brought up ideology from the US. And um, we're having to navigate 
these issues in real time because of an upcoming trial um, of that student, uh, former student. Um, and uh, this is all taking place very quickly. The trial is scheduled for next week and subpoenas have been issued and, and I'm helping to advise students um, on this. Um, so it's been a, a very challenging week for me and I appreciate your bearing with that um, as I navigate these um, tricky issues. Um, but it's been a real pleasure and honor. And um, tomorrow I'll be here and look forward to a full day of engaging with projects, learning a lot more, giving some some guidance. It'll be a bit more low key, um, and but provide lots of opportunities for discussion with incubator participants. Next week is the hackathon, um, where teams will work with stakeholders to advance these models incomparably more. And I'll be circulating among those teams throughout the week. Um, okay. Um, I think that's uh, that's all for today. I.